-hmm. That's weird how that's. That's weird. <laughs> Buy Slot Industries huh? proudly presents <laughs> auction number 11. Hey, Lenny. Somebody's already in there? Mm -hmm. Hey, Janine. Hey, Thrift Hunter. Hey, Dave Thomas. Who am I missing? That... Got JRKR, Casual Flipper. Hey, everybody. I always use your YouTube name just because I'm old and forgetful. Hey, Kathy. We might have, if we get a good crowd in today, I might do, uh, I have a five ounce silver round. So I might do that today. I just don't know where we put it at. I have no idea. Have it's probably over there somewhere. Okay. It's my guess. I don't handle money. Hey, Mike B. Harry Humstone. Harry. Hi, Joyce. So we're going to get underway in just a few minutes. We're just letting the, the crowd get in the room. Hey, Backpack Treasures. Hopefully everybody can hear me, and everything is all set up. We're going to do some glass stuff to begin with, and then we are going to get into some toys and vintage things that I actually bought today. <laughs> and I'm just going to sell them right to you guys. You're going to see them right away. My box of ephemera you shipped on 1211. Yeah, it is... The post office has been so bad around here, and it seems like everything from 12-2 to 12-14, then I started forcing them to scan every single item as they take it from the warehouse. So they're scanning like 100 to 150 packages a day. So it is insane. They are not happy. About four weeks behind. Yeah. Yeah, there's tractor trailer loads of stuff sitting here that are unsorted. It's crazy. It's so very frustrating. Yeah, because everything is shipped out within least we probably ship out. If I send you invoices on Thursday or Friday, your stuff is shipped on Monday. We're really good about that. But yeah, it's been crazy. Usually by end of week. <laughs> okay, guys, let's uh enlarge my screen so that I can see. You guys can all hear me, correct? Yeah, we have a couple people in. We have 23 people. Uh, we did, if everybody watched the videos, we have a lot of the vintage photography is going to come up. Uh, we're going to start selling some of that this week. We're going to do a bunch of the really early 1940s and 50s movie poster stuff. I have the Pokemon cards. We're going to bring those up to auction, some of those in lots. Um, I got in some toys. What else? What else? Anything else? Pam's just shaking her head at me. I don't know. Like a deer in headlights. We got a lot of stuff. <laughs> got some stuff. So we will get underway. Hey, Tom Cruise. Yeah. That's done. yeah. I am pretty sure. Pretty sure. Let me just check on one thing, guys, and then we will get underway, start selling stuff. Okay, Ken, you're wrenched. Yep, Ken, you have a wrench. I'll look for your registration in a little bit. I know you sent one because I remember replying to your message. Okay, so first up, we're going to do a little bit of the glass stuff, get it out of the way. Um, I know there's a few people that wanted some of the carnival-type 
Fentonish glass and stuff. Uh, Marilyn Delgado, if you're around, see Mr. Pat D's. Thank you. Bye, thanks. Pat D stopped down to pick up some of his stuff that he bought last week. I gotta go over to the U line warehouse. He's headed to U line, pick up packing supplies. He wants to know if anybody wants stuff. <laughs> okay, so let's uh, see, see you, Pat. So we have uh, this box is going to be about probably four pounds, five pounds to ship. So we're going to start fifteen dollars start. There is a four by six picture frame. I generally start everything at pretty much what it's going to cost to ship. Here's an icicle Christmas ornament of some sort. Here is an earlier Madonna figurine, Lady of Fatima porcelain figurine. Here is an angel with a candy cane scented Pocono candle. Holder. Let's see if it's marked anything. Actually, look. The holder is made exclusively for Yankee candles. That's a bowler for some of you guys. Certain Yankee candles and other brands of candles, their items can do really well. Here is a Jesus on the cross. Figure probably had mirrors. Uh, seems to be what those were. A wooden cross earlier. This is a brass religious with an anchor. I'm not sure what it's from, but it is solid brass. You have a, this is clear plastic. It's a tree topper. It goes on top of the tree there. But another angel. We have a winter holiday snowflake coasters, glass coasters. Another angel or little cherub with a cross behind them. And then this is earlier original Pondalik greenhouses from Hellertown, Pennsylvania. It is like a, uh, a resin maybe. Hello, oh, Tommy. Hey, Tommy. Just a quick question. The GoPro Hero 9, is it I ordered that, but should I have not ordered that? A couple of people are saying that they've had issues with it. So, And I got my laptop yesterday. I bought a, a new laptop. $15. $15 for this lot of Angels, Cherubs, Christmas, the Brass piece, the Madonna porcelain, the picture frame, so fifteen dollars shipped. On that lot. We have fifty two in the room. Thank you guys for being here. We do appreciate it. Sorry I didn't get the uh the stream yard up earlier. I will make sure this week's stream yards are up today for all three days. Perfect. I'm told haven't heard anyone that I know complaining yet. Okay, no problem, Tom. <laughs> oh, I bought a uh, an M66 Stealth gaming laptop. I bought it specifically for the auction so that it could stream a little better than using my cell phone. And that's what the GoPro is going to be used for once it gets here. Sold to Thelma Thrift. $15. Thelma Thrift, $15. Congratulations, Thelma. Okay. Never a good sound when you hear that. <laughs> okay, so this is a box. This is a little bit older stuff. Uh, more out of that one estate. So this is a beautiful base. This is a $20 shipped. This one's a little bit heavier. And we're going to obviously have to wrap each thing. But it has the beautiful roses on this large vase. Here are the, hey, the tags. Made in Poland on that one. So $20 start on this lot. This is all out of that estate. Article, I'm guessing that's the artist, Steiner Slava. So this is some kind of a Slovakia painted piece of pottery. You have these two pieces of depression glass. These are like toothpick holders, I think, or little bud vases. They are pressed glass 
one in pink, one in blue. Really pretty. They're two completely different patterns. You have the metal River Maya from Mexico ashtray. Probably like a little souvenir. Look, somebody had that price at 60 bucks at one time. Not us. And you have the little old porcelain dish with the little dollies, a little bird, and like a little Pinocchio figure. Number one, two, three. You have Illinois with a Blinken. This is porcelain. Probably had a round sticker from Japan there. This is a cute little mice and a mushroom. So a bunch of mice doing shrooms. Uh, this is... I can't read it. Oh, it's upside down. A foldy porcelain Hungaria. You have this dish, which is very similar to, to the big piece. It's made by the same company. I wonder if they go like that, maybe. I don't know. Or like that. I don't know. <laughs> this is a piece of chintz. It's a real fine, like, bone china porcelain. Here's the name on it. Spiage. Not to be mixed up with Baluge, Czechoslovakia, Spiage. Here is a early Imlek. And here's the porcelain tag on the bottom of that. Look, I don't know glass and porcelain, so we try to sell it and move it out of here because bull in a china shop is an understatement. Hollow Halla from Hungaria. This one is probably the same company. They're like little mid-century modern ashtrays. Here is another piece that has the same kind of design that this one has. We have another porcelain like espresso cup. Uh, this one's plastic, but it says Niagara Falls on it. Here's another piece of chintz. And as you can see, there's like design work in the actual porcelain. It's raised. I don't know what this marking is. Harry Humstone probably knows what this marking is. Looks like two picks with a crown. Royal Copenhagen, maybe? I don't know. And then this is cute. A little like milk pitcher with snowman. And this one is Jamestown, Joy of Christmas, Jamestown, China. So you get all of that stuff for your bid, $20 start, shipped to your door, wrapped by hand by Pam. They only make me pack the big stuff. Even though I did pack that entire set of uh, China the other week. I know. I got a lot of stuff. It took a long time. It took me like an hour and a half to pack that box. So you get all of this vintage 1940s and 50s glass and porcelain, including the depression glass or the colored pressed glass toothpick or small vases. It's a nice lot. <laughs> Thanks, Andy. Harold said, for the common people, if Pam's going to wrap it, it's worth more. <laughs> so we're looking for any advance on 22. He just wants me to buy a story. That's all. <laughs> <laughs> looking for any advance on $20. Hello, Tamara. Hi, Tamara. Hi, Junebug. So we're at $20 going twice, looking for 22 or better on all the chintz china and porcelain and the colored pressed glass and pottery. So we're looking for 22 or better. We're going twice. Sold. Sold, sold, sold. First law.
Sold to Chris Law. Nice. Awesome buy, Chris. Okay. We're going to get all this glassware stuff out of the way. And then we're going to get into some of the stuff I bought today, like the toys, the vintage toys. And the old photos. Yep, never heard of UPS. Then they may just uh, it might require a signature if it's something of some kind of value. I don't think so. I think he bought tapes UPS or USPS. Here's a Holland mold Christmas set. I'm not sure which side the top is and which side the bottom is, but it's done iridescent. So I'm not sure which one. I think it probably goes this way. So it probably held candles. It's my guess, like a Christmas set. And then here are the little drummer boys, and it has a label inside. Christmas Lovekins by NASCO 19. There's a date. Let's see. 20 bucks. 1978. So there are a pair of these little drummer boys. Little candle holders. And then this is a bone bisque. I'm guessing it probably held like a place card in there or like business card or something. A little bisque flower. But because of these, 20 bucks. Hi, Marilyn Delgado. Yes, guys, we're trying to send as many of your packages as we can. Right By now. UPS. By UPS. Just yep. Because of all the with USPS. Yeah, because the post office is crappy. We can say it. We're live. We can say whatever we want. Post office is caca. Spencer, uh, if Brian's correct on what you got, which he usually is, um, that has to be USPS. And for if they're holding it for a review, we don't have a clue, unfortunately, right now. They're making up all kinds of crazy stuff for people. If it's if it's UPS, they're just waiting for a signature. We might have clicked that you needed to sign it. Yeah. One of the girls might have made it where you have to sign for it. So it's something expensive. Yeah. Or if they just accidentally clicked the wrong box. So you may have to sign for it. I generally only do that on the orders over like $300, but... But with Christmas and a lot of people's stuff going missing... Never yeah, know. you should be able to just call them also and ask them. Because they don't have a media mail rate. So generally, if it was media mail, it would have went media mail. Okay, any interest? <laughs> pass. <laughs> Sandy. <laughs> okay, this is a pass a lot, it looks like. Okay, how about this? I saw Marilyn's in the room. I know she likes this type of stuff. So does Tamara, I believe. And Kathy likes this type of stuff. So, so this, these are three giant pieces. $25 start on this lot, guys. I'll show you the this piece first. It's Princess House, Fine China, Bavaria, Germany, Princess Heritage. It is a gravy bowl on a dish. Got some tape residue on it. There we go. Pretty nice. And then these are almost like carnival glass. This is a, reminds me of Fenton, but there's no, no markings that I can see. But you can see it's got like almost like a, a flower button there. It's a blue, dark iridescent blue, large base. Ugh. And then the biggest piece is this awesome. It's almost like carnival glass. It's got like that multicolored rainbow effect. And I don't know what this button motif is considered as, but it looks like fern leaves. Really large. Had some tape around it here, but there's no cracks or damage. Um, I didn't look at the bottom of this one. This one has an S. I can't tell if it has other letters, but I'll show it to you guys. Maybe you can see. I can just see the S right there. So I don't know who made this, 
but it's pretty large. Yeah, cobalt with blue in color. And there's no chips. And it is 11 inches tall on that one by 14 inches wide. And the other one is 13 inches tall by 10 inches wide. And as you can see inside of this one, see that, that like beautiful iridescent coloring inside. They really are nice. I guess it reminds me of carnival glass. But we're almost through all the glass stuff from that house. We can break down a table. Pam will be super happy. So we're at $30 with Marilyn Delgado. Give her any advance. Yeah, they're beautiful. They're really heavy too. Casual flippers out. Hi, Jabbies. So we have $30 with Marilyn Delgado looking for any advance. And I will have our stream yard up earlier. I'll put it up tonight. We will be doing an auction tomorrow and on Thursday. I have the Pokemon cards that you guys saw in the prior video, the movie posters and movie memorabilia. We have silver coins, more sports cards, and then we're going to do a bunch of the photos and the photo albums. Hey, Matt. Absolutely no problem, man. I like watching other people work. Hi, Chandra. So we have $30 going twice, looking for 32 or better on these three pieces. The cobalt blue and the iridescent blue. It's like carnival glass, kind of. Sold, sold, sold. I think that was a great buy, Marilyn. Okay. I don't know if they've been here long enough for me to show them my rooster. So I know some of you guys like the the Italian cock roosters. What well, it is? It's an Italian rooster. See? Or no, it's Portugal. It's even better. Smart Portugal 31. Pam said I can't say the C word. I'm supposed to say rooster. So it's a stylized porcelain Portugal rooster. These are beautiful. These are early bisque. They're probably German. Some numbers on the bottom. Really beautiful, like Victorian era. It's a bit Flowers, little vases, caddies. Starting bid. $25 starting bid. In this lot. There's another one. What? Yeah. Normally they're not white. cock a doodle do So this is a porcelain butterfly. I don't know who made this, but it's really well made. Like even the, the leaves are really nice, but it does look like one of the leaves had cracked off down here and been re-glued. I don't know what. It says something on the bottom, but I can't read it. Baswick maybe? Or I don't know. I can't read that word down there. There's a word right there. I'll give that to Pam. She's going to try to read it while I pull out my pussy cap. Right. My, 
I said pussy cat. Mm-hmm. Gosh, I'm getting in trouble. No matter what animal I talk about, I'm in trouble. Meow. It's got this little ball of yarn. I don't know what company this is. That little porcelain kitty. We have a fox. A little porcelain fox with a big old tail. It's kind of cute. We have the two little chirpy birds. They're some kind of a pottery. They remind me of Stangle, like early Stangle birds. And these have a V, a purple V. I'm not sure who made these little birds. They're cute. <laughs> See? <laughs> See? I shouldn't get in trouble. I don't know what that symbol is, but it's another really cool looking early. This is definitely early porcelain bird. See, I don't know my porcelains and stuff like that. This one's kind of neat. This one's Hungaria. So this is Mahun. It's probably said made in Hungary at one time, and then there's numbers on it. But this is a cute bird set there. See, I get yelled at. You guys are fine. Got a little snail. It's all like painted pottery, like stoneware. Very cute. You have a little bunny. So if you get the rooster and the, the cat together, they can play bunnies. Little thimble. Another little kitty. See, they did it too. You have a Wade pottery from like Wade Tea. Wade England, made in England. Bison. Then you have a really awesome set of pheasants. These are really, really well done. Bone China. No, I got jealous when I started handling it and took both of my hands. So I just gave up. Just a little baby pheasant. But I can measure the rooster for you, Harry, if you're looking for a certain size cock. What? See, guys, I get in trouble. She beats me. I'm innocent. Get a little squirrel. Just a squirrel trying to get a nut right there. See? See? Look, we're here for fun. Okay, I'll, I'll measure the cock for you. Live on camera. This is really awesome. This could be really, really good. 35 from Maryland. I am not sure, but it's very stylized. And there is markings on the bottom. If I can get it to focus a little bit. And I don't know what those markings are, but the figure just has a look to it. Like sometimes when you look at something, you just go, like, it could be really good. <laughs> is this part of the, <laughs> here's the butterfly porcelain okay so harry sometimes you gotta grab it around the head like that and i'm gonna, I'm gonna whip out the ruler okay harry it's almost 14 inches harry <laughs> yeah i know that's pretty impressive we have some size 14 sneakers for all you guys, too. So you got the Portugal rooster, the 14-inch, and the 14-incher. Kind of funny. No, Matthew, you're not the only one. <laughs> what? We all are laughing. Yeah, 14 inches tall. Some people will not admit they're laughing, but they are. Don't want anybody else to get offended. <laughs> yeah, we are not the offensive channel. We offend you. We do apologize in advance. <laughs> Johnny Holmes, nice. Okay. 
There we go. So that's the lot. Hey. <laughs> Harry, as long as you keep calling it an entrance, it's going to hurt. I think she's playing like shuffleboard. Is that or she's mowing the grass with a really weird looking lawnmower. I'm telling you, I bet you this is something good. I just, I don't know why, but it just has that, that feel to it. Thank you, Marilyn. <laughs> you mean there's a nice list somewhere? <laughs> Santa's already come and gone. Yeah, see, I told you I was jealous. I'm crying over here. Try working here, Harry. Try working here. Yeah, but you cry not because I'm funny. You cry because I think I'm funny. There's a difference. Some days are funny. <laughs> <laughs> Only when I say inappropriate stuff. Okay, so this is the last thing of glass I see here on my table. Doesn't mean this is the last thing of glass, but it doesn't mean it's the last one on the table currently. So this is from Roman Incorporated, which makes all the Fontanini figurines. Uh, this is going to be $25 start also. Permanent Christ. This is all porcelain or bisque or whatever. 2002 Roman little picture frame. Looks like it's quilted, but it's it's all done in like porcelain or resin or whatever the stuff is made out of. This is a huge lot. This is style bright, American made, 24% full lead crystal picture frame. So it's a lead crystal picture frame for a five by seven picture. Okay, let's get into the giant cake plate with the butterflies. Oh, wait, no. Hey, is that a butterfly or is it a flower? I don't know. Maybe this is a flower. I can't tell if it's a butterfly or a flower. It's something. Um, I didn't look for a maker's mark or anything on it, but it is pretty heavy. It's really nice. Definitely quality. This is a little earlier. So back in the day, they used to do silver inlay so this is all actual silver inlay put on top of this crystal like on top of this glass so this was probably a very expensive like ornate candy dish it's a ding 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 don't know who made this either but all i know is that it is very very detailed the silver is very detailed okay this is a candle holder with seashells inside of it. There is. Hmm. I don't know. Somehow this like thing comes up, goes down, but it, there's no way to get it off of this unless this comes apart somehow, which it does not. So a crystal candle. Um, uh, I don't think so, but I was having issues with my email that day or, or like, when was it froggy? I was having issues getting my Gmail a little while back. I just cleared it out to make space. I'll look back through and then see if I got it from you. I'll check right after the auction and I'll email you either way. If I got it, I, I'll email you that I got it. If I did not. I will email you that I did not get the message. Okay. So this is actually cut crystal. 
So this is a, a little nicer piece. You can tell whenever you handle cut crystal versus uh, versus pressed glass a lot of times because of how sharp the edging is. This is a really, really brilliant piece of American you know, cut glass. Uh, Digimon and Pokemon? Maybe. If we can get through all the glass stuff first and the toys that I have here on the table, we'll get over to some Digimon and Pokemon and stuff like that. We're definitely doing that stuff tomorrow for sure. So here's... So what? I always do. Somebody always gives me a thumbs down. It's all right. Doesn't hurt my feelings. So candy dish, 25. This is the giant lot of like pressed and cut glass and leaded crystal. This is a nice, it almost looks like a soap dish, like a covered soap dish, but very brilliant coloring, super intricate detail. Um, I think it's button pattern, I think. But really, really awesome leaded crystal piece. This is pretty heavy. There is a small flake it feels like right on the tip of the spout on this piece this is crystal here's a little tray with the two button patterns this is actually really nice I don't feel any chipping or damage on it This is a piece of lucite, probably for a business card or to hold something. Here's a spoon rest. I mean, in porcelain, you put your spoons there when you're stirring your broth and whatnot. And then here's another glass, like little sandwich snack tray type thing. No chips on that one either. This is a either American pattern or Thousand Eye pattern. I think is what the what that one's called. So you have the two little trays. You have the little creamer that is definitely leaded crystal. You have the awesome glass box, the lidded covered dish. Yeah, that's awesome. This one's like a little candy dish. The points there, it's not broken off or anything. But all of them seem to have the same similar pattern. And then this one is definitely cut glass, so American Brilliant Cut Glass. A, B, C, G. It's a nice tall vase. It's really nice, the vase. It's a real quality piece. You can hear it. You get the other little candle with the base thing there. This candle holder with the seashells in it. You get the silver inlaid glass compote. A footed, footed compote, I'll use big words. Makes me sound smart. You can see here. And then there, this is all silver inlaid in the glass. The giant cake dish that is glass with the frosted accent. Lifted design, it's all embossed 3D. So, a lot of stuff there. The little picture frame, and then the leaded crystal picture frame. With the lady that looks like from Who's the Boss? It's a nice big lot. For you guys. Well, spin it around to my Vanna White impression. Nice big lot.
So we're at 34 with Don. Looking for 36 or better. You know what I look at the thumbs down as? Somebody jealous that they didn't have a 14 inch rooster. Uh, I gave myself the thumbs down. <laughs> that didn't happen until the rooster jokes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're going twice. Anybody else? We're at 34, we're looking for 36 or better. I thought all the class was gone. You went and got more, didn't you? did okay i'll do something else i'm gonna do one of the things that i bought today just because the nostalgia aspect of it okay i think we're gonna be sold to don don l Okay, so let's do let's do something interesting. How many of you guys remember these when we were kids? Frosty the Snowman by Hasbro. The snow comb machine. I remember having one of these. Uh, ten dollars is what it's. Yeah, it's gonna cost us ten to twelve to ship. So ten dollars. I saw this today at the antique co-op that Pam and I went to, and I couldn't pass it up. Even has the little penguin syrup dispenser, which is awesome. Yep. There is the frosty. This goes on the back of him, like so. Here's the lock and cap. Here is his shovel. Original instructions. So $10 start, and check it out. Tasty Treat Snow Cone Shop, the hat. I've had probably 20 of these over the years, and I've never had it with the hat. I think that's awesome. So Hasbro did this. It looks to be complete with the exception of the packs of Kool-Aid and the little paper cups. 1977. 1977. So this is awesome. The original instructions. 1977 Hasbro. My penguin guy goes there on his footy. Snow cones. Get your snow cones. I'd have been that kid selling those. Like, here, do you want to buy a snow cone? Ten cents. I'd have been cheating and grabbing snow off the ground, throwing it in the cup. Not having to do all the hard work of mixing. So we have $10 with Connie. Bought this today. So I've not done anything with it. And usually the little... Used to put in like your, your Kool-Aid mix inside of him. You turn him upside down and you squeeze him. All over your snow cone. Squeeze the penguin. <laughs> so we have ten dollars with Connie looking for twelve. <laughs> oh, the lemonade ones, those are good. Hi Zygon. Ryan likes peas now come. I like to eat hamburgers too. <laughs> we have twelve dollars with Jazz.
What kind of Hot Wheels were they like this? Vintage red lines. If we get a hundred people in here, I'm gonna sell one of those today. Gonna to, gonna to put it up for sale. Got eighty three. So we have fourteen dollars with Connie. Yeah. Oh, that's not good, Rise. We have 16 with Matt. Connie is out. And that is shipped to your door. Even has the hat. Tasty treat. It's like Wonder Woman's tiara. Instruction sheet inside of the box there. And the lock cap. Oh, we go like that. So, what are we at? 16, 16 looking for 18. We got 83 watching. 17 more people come in. We're going to put a red line Hot Wheels up with a $10 starting bid. What? Didn't say anything. Don't look at me with all those crazy eyes. <laughs> so we're at sixteen dollars with Matt. Looking for any be any better? Going once we're at sixteen, looking for eighteen on the Frosty the Snowman. Snow comb maker. Yeah, a while back maybe. Oh, I did, I believe. Go on, go on, fly. I don't think this is ever used. Because if you remember right, like his his hat comes off to put the to push the ice down through the top. Yeah. Oh. That that was a steal. Nice buy. Okay, let's let's try a gum card box. This is an original 1982 wax box. There's no packs in it. It is just a display box, but it's not been punched. As you can see right there. For Knight Rider, non-sports cards, $10 start. For the vintage non-sports card, original wax box. $10 start. You are more than welcome, sir. And we do appreciate everybody being here today. Obviously, we have JRK in at $10. And then Chris Law came in at 10 right after, within seconds. So we have JRK in at 10, looking for 12 on the Night Rider with David Hasselhoff and Kit. Original wax box. Again, it's in fantastic condition. And it's never even been punched to be displayed. I used to watch this all the time. The Hoff. So we have JR. Chris came in at 12. JRKR is in at 14. We have 85 in here now. Only got to get 15 more in. We'll do a red line Hot Wheels. 
I'm going to put it way up at the top of the screen. That way everybody knows that it would be coming up. So I have Marielle in at 16. Chris Law is out. JRKR is out. So we're at $16 shipped on the empty Knight Rider box. Why? Why can't you walk past me one time without pinching my butt? <laughs> I know you can, Harry. It's up there so that people people know that once we hit 100 viewers in the auction today, we're going to put up a red line Hot Wheels for $10 start. <laughs> Why are you saying he can see your butt? <laughs> oh, I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> so I have 16 with Marielle looking for any advance. On the Knight Rider wax display box. It's in great shape. Nineteen eighty-two. Sold, sold, sold. Okay, let's I bought this today. Let's see who knows what this is. I know we're missing Chris Chatworth and missing all the toy guys. Everybody's going to be mad. I bought this today because I know what this was. And this was at the co-op we just went to. It is missing a few things like the back flats that go here in the back of it. I'll show it to you guys in the photo. See in the photo... These slats, they are not here. The two slats. It only has a few of the accessories. Absolutely. Once we put it up, once we get a hundred people, Harry, we're gonna we're gonna do the do the Hot Wheels. So there's the shovel, the axe, the pick. The camp stuff, the little Coleman lantern. So these were the accessories for this. So here it is, the Circle Ranch, the Circle E for Empire. This was made to go with Big Jim and the vintage 12-inch G.I. Joes, like the taller G.I. Joe figures, or the Bonanza figures. So this is designed to fit G.I. Joe, Big Jim, and all other action figures, complete with over 20 accessories. This one does not have all the accessories. has some of them, but it has the original box, which is super cool, and the decals. And it's not – actually, it's in pretty nice shape. So $20 start. It is large. Okay. Hi, Striker. So this goes up there. You can drive your Jeep around. But it was made to fit G.I. Joe and Big Jim. It is a tougher piece to find. Box is almost 20 inches long by nine and a half inches tall by eight inches deep. So for Big Jim and G.I. Joe. Vintage 1970s, it's like 73 or 74, I think is the year this one came out. So Shriker in at 25. Looking for any advance. We should be going once. For any advance on the vintage Empire 
G.I. Joe, Big Jim, Jeep in the box. Guys are getting steals today. Still, still, stills. And there are accessories, just so you can see. Not all of them, but some. Yeah, if there was anything in the previews, you guys, that you're interested in me putting up, let me know, and I'll see if we can get some of it up today. And everybody's just recuperating from Christmas. I'll put out a little preview for tomorrow, maybe, so that we know we're going to do some Pokemon and some of that stuff. Sold, sold, sold. Guess I didn't do good on my buys. Okay, here's a Jurassic Park figure. <laughs> so let's do Jurassic Park and Indiana Jones together. I know they probably don't really go together. So this is an original. This is still sealed in the package. Stake of Visor. So this was Indiana Jones and the Lost Crusade. Yeah, that was a great buy. Um, yeah, we can do we can do some photos. So this is 1989 from Pepsi in Indiana Jones. So like when you went to the movie, you could get this by a Pepsi. And so it's a hat and a visor right here are the flip down sunglasses. They clip into there by Indiana Jones. And you get the Jurassic Park Tyrannosaurus with Dino Tracker figure. $10 start for the two pieces. And that's what you're bidding on. Jurassic Park and Indiana Jones. Hi, Kyle. <laughs> so we have 10 with JRKR. We have 20 with Brian Maroney. And since we have 80 people here, let's ask everybody's opinions. Pam and I were talking about this. Do you guys want a couple days off with no auctions, just like kind of for the holidays for this week? Would you rather us wait until next week to do more auctions, or do you want us to go ahead and auction straight through to auctions tomorrow and Thursday? We're at 22 with JRKR, 24 with Marie. Marielle, sorry. JRKR is out. So we have Marielle in at 24 for the pair first. And Brian Maroney came in just a second after. There's the Jurassic Park Tyrannosaurus and Dino Tracker. And the 1989 Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade Pepsi Visor. We just had some days off. Let's go. Okay. Whatever's easiest for you, straight through, straight through. Okay. Well, well, I've auctioned straight through. I don't mind. We'll just move stuff out of the warehouse. I actually have something really cool on the other side of Pam in that top box up there. I think is that is that ads or is it a 
movie um, press kits. <laughs> Zion Tiger said, no breaks. He's off work all week. You got it. We'll auction straight through. I'm good. Okay, so we are at 24 with Marielle, looking for 26. This includes the shipping, guys. Let me switch with you real quick. I'm going to move that box. It's too heavy for you to move. Okay. 30 with Thrift Hunter. We have 30. Yep. Striker says every day in 2021. Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> Thursday's our limit on that. <laughs> Three days a week is our limit. Yep, that's our limit. We got to have some time to. We can go ship. three days on YouTube and two days on Facebook. No. No. Got to have time to ship. <laughs> yeah, she said ship with a P. So we are at 30 with Thrift Hunter, 32 with Marielle, 34 with Thrift Hunter. <laughs> so we are at $34 with Thrift Hunter, looking for any advance. Cody just landed in Wisconsin. Yeah. Steven, if you make a comment in the chat, I can give you a a wrench so you can bid. Ken at 40. So if Ken in at 40 on the Indiana Jones visor and the Tyrannosaurus Rex. 42 with Thrift Hunter. If you guys did send me a registration and you want to participate in the auction, make sure you comment so that we can give you a wrench. So Steve. New England fish. You can bid. Yeah, we didn't put the rolling bin up today, Harold. Oh, sorry. You want us to put it up just for you, Harold? <laughs> My bad. There you go. Why is it all sideways? I was answering an email. I thought somebody went into bid. 46 with 10. Let's see if that fixes it. <laughs> yes, Brian was drinking 50 with Marielle. <laughs> Somebody's got to deal with Pam. Brian barely ever drinks. See? No I stayed fun. golden like Pony Boy from the Outsiders. <laughs> no fun. I stayed golden. <laughs> you just want me to get drunk so you can take advantage of me. <laughs> yeah. Last time I woke up at your house, Dave was smearing peanut butter all over me, and I don't know what he was planning on doing, but <laughs> not into that stuff. It's hard to get off. So we're at 50 with Marielle looking for any advance. <laughs> we have 52 with Ken. Oh, yep, it's $5 increments, Ken. Sorry. Two drink minimum. <laughs> Harry said it's a two drink minimum. Yep. Not at my house, Harry. Not at my house. Yeah. No, at your house it is a two drink minimum. <laughs> no. Because one drink's just not enough. So you have to have at least two to start. <laughs> it's not two drink maximum. Is that one for each hand? Or... So, Ken, if you want in, you got to be in at 55. Well, 
first time I was at 55. So, Thrift, we had you in at 50, I believe. So we have 60 with Ken. We have 60 with Ken. Okay. Need a dog. <laughs> I have four dogs. <laughs> yep. That's why they were spreading peanut butter all over me. I don't know. <laughs> we're at 65. <laughs> Harry, she goes for like a case of wine a week. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> nope, that's because you've moved on to heavier drinks. <laughs> like, look, look, just for fun, we bring stuff like this into work, and Pam drinks it and tries it out. Let me bring in pineapple whiskey. And peach whiskey. And nobody has opened the bird dog strawberry yet. That's usually my drink of choice. So we are at 70 with Ken. Marielle is out. Okay, we're going to call it down. Oh, we still got Hunter in too. Yep, Thrift Hunter. We have 70 with Ken looking for 75. Not mad dog. No. <laughs> no, it's bird dog. <laughs> Are we bidding on empty bottles? No. <laughs> They're not <laughs> empty yet. No, those aren't empty. <laughs> so we have Hunter in at 75 for the pair. Yeah, Harold's moving back down south too. Hello, T. Harold, you need to send me some of that up here. We have 80 with Ken. Looking for an advance. Harry said that's the big kid stuff. <laughs> Yes, we did, T. We said happy hour. <laughs> Thank you very much for your your super chat. Are we supposed to do the super chatty thing? There we go. Thank you, T. If you guys haven't checked out auctions for you, make sure you do so. They have great auctions all the time. I think she's on break right now because she has a giant amount of collectibles and storage units full of stuff that she got in. That she's digging through. First time I've been at 85. And she does a fantastic job. So we have 85 with Thrift Hunter. Looking for 90. It's just between Thrift Hunter and Ken. So as soon as one of you two says out, the other one will win it. There will be no countdown on it. It'll just make it go a little faster since it's only the two of you bidding. So make sure before you say out that you definitely want to be out. I can see them taking this out of the package and like wearing it with like the little glasses folded down. Pretty cool. So we're at 90 with Ken looking for 95. If you're out, please say out. Thrift Hunter is in at 95. Look like a salad and a cheeseburger. <laughs> it's pretty funny. I have some other really cool stuff. Kind of goes along with this type of items. So we're at 95. Looking for 100 from Ken. Striker, I have a, I have some cool stuff that we'll put up that you and Mr. Midwest Picker will like. Ken is out. Okay, sold, sold, sold. 
So Thrift Hunter for 95. Congratulations. Well, since you guys like that 80s stuff. I got these from the same place that I got that visor from. So 1983. These are the original movie, the special movie edition of Return of the Jedi sticker albums. They're unused, old stock. There's a little dent down in the bottom corner. But you would buy like little packs of stickers that came in little boxes and you put them in your books and fill them. These are old stock. And because we like doing stuff like this, we're not going to do just one. We're going to do two. And three. You're going to get three in this slot. Old stock Return of the Jedi Star Wars sticker albums. Unused old stock from Tops. So $10 start. Let's do the $10 start because these are light. I can ship them for 10 bucks. We pretty much start everything out at what we can ship it for and give you the items for free. And then you guys bid it up, and then that's where we have a chance of making a profit. Okay, we have 20 with Brian. Oh, man, Robbie must be feeling better if you're humping and pumping. Oh, oh, she means she's working. Never mind. So we have Brian Maroney in at 20. Brian... Jumped us in at 20. Thank you, Brian. So you get all three unused Return of the Jedi sticker albums, and these are from the original 1983. Can I show the inside? Of course. A long time ago in a faraway galaxy. And then you would have opened up those little red sticker packs, and the stickers are numbered, so you would have knew where they went inside of the albums. But there's Jabba the Hutt. And they actually have pictures of like the toy. It's really cool. Bib Fortuna. Look, Boba Fett. May he rest in peace. General Akbar, or Admiral Akbar, sorry. You get Wicket, the Ewoks, and then in the background you can see the scenes from the movie. You get all the little baby Ewoks. You have Luth and Darth Vader. Luke and Darth Vader. The Death Star, Millennium Falcon. And then Beck, may the Force be with you with Luke Skywalker. And if anybody watched, he was in the last episode of Mandalorian. So you got all three. They are all unused little ding on this bottom left corner, but all old store stock. Ewoks. Yep, Ewoks. <laughs> so we have 25 with Brian Maroney for the three books. Looking for any advanced 1983 Star Wars Return of the Jedi. Okay. <laughs> Can there? <laughs> so we have twenty five with Brian Maroney looking for any advance. Oh, the babies were called Wee Walks. Cool, that would work. <laughs> looking for twenty seven or more guys for th all three albums. OK, 
Okay, we got 86 in here, 14 more. We're going to do a Redline Hot Wheels. It's going twice. $25 we're at for all three. I believe we're going to be sold to Brian Maroney for $25. <laughs> Carla. I believe we are sold. Nice. Bye, Brian. Okay. Well, let's stay in that theme line. Okay, check this out. These are unpunched, so these are gradable. Star Wars cards. They are from Burger King, 1980. So in the Burger King kids' meals, you would get a sheet of cards. So we're going to start this at $10. I believe I have the full set, all 36 cards. You can look at the corners. These are gradable for sure. Look at this. Four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten. This one I would not say is gradable because there's a little crease in the bottom corner. Right there on that one. Eleven, twelve. It is the full set of all 36 cards that they made. I had to lay them out so I could see if there was any duplicates. But it is all 36 of the cards. They are all in unpunched, unbroken condition. They've never been taken apart. They are 1980 and 1977. I think they took different ones from each year because these say 77 on them. So there are 36 different trading cards. But you can see how sharp these corners are. And I'm showing you the worst card out of all of them. But you get the full set. All 36 cards. Times out, Jared Karen at 24. Okay. There's the cards, right? Yeah, I'll just put Star Wars cards. They're old stock. Don is in at 26. JRKR is in at 30. So we have $30 for all 36 cards or 32 cards, whatever it was. 12 times 3, 36. You have the full set from Burger King, original Star Wars. And they are getting ready to release a new series that's just going to be coming out. They hinted at it in the Mandalorian movie. So Star Wars will never die. We have 95 here. Five more, and we're going to do the Red Line Hot Wheels. So we have JRKRN at $30. Looking for any advance. Going once. On the full set. Like I said, they're all in pretty amazing condition.
96 here. Bounty Hunters, there's Boba Fett and featured in that one. Chewbacca. No, you were all waiting on me to do my Wookiee impression. Boba Fett. You can see they're in really, really nice condition. When 100 people in the auction, we have Redline Hot Wheels, it will come. Mm -hmm. Big lightsaber you have. Small scrawny white guy you are. Mm -hmm. I always liked how his ears moved whenever he talked. The little things fascinated me. So you've been in on the full set. Where are we at? Air carrier with 30. <laughs> so we have $30 with JRKR. I'm going twice. Last call. On the set of Star Wars cards, all 36 cards in great shape, un unbroke apart. I believe we're going to be sold. Sold, sold, sold. Mm. Sold, sold, sold. JRKR, $30. Congratulations. Okay. Let's, let's stay on our, our roll. Okay, guys. This one is really cool. I know it's not Star Wars, but you'll see in a second why I'm really excited about this one. So just like the Star Wars albums, these are the sticker albums. This is the dealer display. This actually opened up. It's made by Tops. It has the ET sticker albums inside from 1982 from Tops. From Tops chewing gum. You can see right here. There are 10 of these books inside. There are 10 unused ET sticker albums. The original display box. Five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ethi upon home. Elliot. And what I think is probably the coolest piece for this lot, other than the ten of these, so it's twenty dollars start on this lot. You get all ten sticker albums that came with the original store display. And this is the original window poster that went in your store to show that you had the ET sticker albums. So you get, okay. So you get all 10 sticker albums, the original store display box was a countertop display and the original poster $20 start. I do too. So we will do the Redline Hot Wheels next. Hopefully we've got some uh, Hot Wheels guys in here. Because I reward you guys and I gamble. So we're at $20 with JRKR on the original store display, the original poster, and 10 of the photo sticker albums. All 
all dead stock condition. Okay. Okay, we have 20 with JR Care. We have 22 with Steve Bosch. Or 22 with Jobbies. 26 with JR Care. 26. So there's 10 of the sticker albums, the original store display box, and the original poster. Steve is out. Jobbies is out. So you get everything you see there. We're at $26 with JR Care. And that includes free shipping. Go on once. Yeah, not yet, Kyle. You never know what I'll be getting in. This guy said he's got more stuff this from his uncle's house, so I might wind up getting some unopened boxes of the stickers, which would be kind of cool. So we're looking for 28. We have Shriker in at 30. So $2 increments up to 50, and then $5 increments above that. We have Shriker in at 30. You were just so intent I had to, to break that up. <laughs> so we have 30 with Striker. Looking for any advance. Yeah, I haven't seen two hip chicks in a while. I have 30 with Striker in it to flip it. Let us know if you're out. Let's start calling it down. We need to be at 32. Hi, Dana. So we have $30 with Striker. Looking for any advance, you get the 10 sticker albums, old store stock, the original store display box. And the poster. We don't hold anything back here, guys. We sell you everything. Okay, we're sold to Shriker for 30. Congratulations, Shriker. Okay, guys. Let's do it. Harry Humstone, original Redline Hot Wheels, mint on the card. Even the card itself is unpunched. $10 start. And I will tell you guys that it was a lot more expensive than that when I originally bought it years ago. 1969, right there, Mattel, Redline Hot Wheels. And for a ten dollar start, this is the Lola GT seventy in flat enamel green, red line Hot Wheels mint on the card. There's the decal sheet still on the bottom. Bubble is nice and clear, no cracks, no dents. A little tiny dent right there, I can see. Light hits it just right. Has the original button, but great condition. Really rare to find them on the card.
Oh, that one doesn't look as good. There we go. Dave, can you confirm you're in at 100? That's probably actually around what I paid for it, like maybe 10 years ago. I'm just going to double that, not 100. Okay, that's all we thought. We just wanted to make sure. Okay, so we have $10 with Dave. We are at 50 with and these cars just you never find them on the card. Kyle, uh, we're at fifty five with Rift Hunter. So nineteen sixty nine. Mint on the card with a nice clear bubble. It's not yellowed. It's not split. And the decals are there. Okay, Tyler 65. Matthew at 70. So Matt in at 70. Matt at 75. Matthew at 80. Remember, once you guys get to a hundred, it's ten dollar increments above a hundred. If you guys are on Facebook, there's a couple of different groups that sell Redline Hot Wheels and do auctions, and the prices there are staggering. It's like watching T-shirt auctions on Instagram. I saw a Jack in the Box Jackrabbit sell for almost two grand. In that site, so I wanted one because I haven't, I've never had one. Now we'll see how this one does. I might do one a day. Ten in at ninety, call at ninety five. This is a great buy. Again, it is unpunched. This has the blue windows. 1969 Redline Hot Wheels. At 95 a pile. We're at 95, looking for 100. Casual flipper, are you in at a hundred? Okay, so we have ninety five, we're looking for a hundred. On the vintage nineteen sixty nine Redline Hot Wheels. And for those of you who don't know what to look for, look for these little thin red lines on the wheels whenever you're looking for the vintage Hot Wheels. 
but you want to make sure that they don't have a square on the bottom that say 25th anniversary or anything like that because they did make 25th anniversary ones. But this is the original 1969. Oh, going twice. Okay, so we're looking for a hundred. Going twice. Last call, folks. This is gonna be a steal. Believe we're going to be sold. Are we sold? No oh, far lag. We have lag on the thing. Sold. So congratulations, guys. Connie, are you just waiting on a registration? Did you send one in? Then a little bit of a, a lag in the last airplane. Yeah, it seems like it. Okay, so we're sold, sold, sold. Yeah, we weren't seeing it on the screen. Connie M, just let me know if you sent me an email. Okay. If you guys just sent me a message, make sure that you make a comment in the chat so that I can get you wrenched up so you can bid. James, you just came through. If you make a comment, James Wells will have. Connie M, so C. McKee. Okay. Cody Honeyman will be able to bid. Okay, so all of you guys, if you just make the comment, you'll be able to bid. Yep, got yours, Cody. Go out and come back in if you need to, or just refresh. Okay, so okay, guys. So let's do another one. This one's a little bit better of a car. The card's actually a little bit nicer as well. Unpunched, ten dollar start. The only problem with this one is that the wing has just turned from being in the package and just came out of the little hole that it goes into. Connie, yep, you can bid now, Connie. So this is the chaparral. With the wing, this is in the metallic red color, blue windshield, dark interior. Here is the sticker decal sheet is underneath the car. Bubbles really nice. $10 start. This one is $19.68. So Brian in at 50. Show you the back. I said this one is the second rarest of the cars that we had. Chaparral 2G. The bubble's really nice and clear. It's in good shape. Unpunched. And at 80. 
and the car has no toning. We'll get it right there. Apparently at 85. I mean, you do find them, the cards are generally beat up, or the bubbles are split. Not in this one. Um, yeah. I do appreciate everybody being here. Make sure that you guys share us out because as our channel grows, the amount of items that we can get up and running will increase. We're going to try to change the business model over to when I go and buy stuff, it's just going to come straight here. It makes it easier on us just to flip merchandise. And I like to gamble. So. See, See you, Phil. So this is the Chaparral 2G with the wing. Beautiful shape. Unpunched card. I want to punch it. Pony, I'm at 110. Okay, we're $10 increments, guys. We have 110 looking for 120. This is 1968. I'm going to set this down while I grab something else. You guys need to see it up close again, just ask. Has the sticker sheet in the bottom. Tray. One twenty with Kyle. So we're at one twenty with Kyle Taryn. So we're looking for one thirty or better. It is a clear bubble, it's not yellowed, no splits in it. So we're looking for 130 or better on the vintage Redline Hot Wheels. It is in fantastic shape. Doesn't even have toning. One thirty with Matthew. Okay, let me check real quick. One forty with Kyle. One fifty with Connie M. Make sure you guys send your registrations to Mr. Byslot seven nine five at gmail dot com. You can wrench Midwest. 
it's telling me at the top that I have something from him, but it hasn't came through in the email yet. Hello, Alan. So you're wrenched. We're at 160 with Kyle. On the red line, Chaparral. Looking for any advance. Money's out. Okay, we have 160 with Kyle. Looking for any advance going once. Thank you guys for your bids. Alan, you're wrenched, yeah. Yep, Alan, you have a wrench. Nineteen sixty eight Redline Hot Wheels men on the card. See, we sell you guys everything. Okay, going once. Going twice. If you guys get a chance, make sure you hit the thumbs up. Helps out the channel a lot. Trying to grow. We're going to shoot for 5,000 subscribers by the end of the next year. Golden Kyle. For 10,000. See, see what happens. Okay, congratulations, Kyle. Okay, so Spencer, where are you at? Okay. We're going to do some cards. These are mostly all energies. I know somebody said there was something decent in there. So I'm going to do the mixed miscellaneous stuff first. And then we'll get into a couple other things. So here is a battling coin game. There's three metal coins inside. I'm not sure how you play it or what you do. I guess you spin them to battle. And whoever has the higher point score facing the other one wins. So you have the coins. You have these. Lenticular 3D cards. These are from Artbox 1998 Nintendo. 1999 Nintendo. So maybe you got these inside of like the DS games when you bought the DS games. I'm not sure. So you have those. You have a Spoink card. These are mostly all energies. I know there was something in there that somebody said I should point out. Maybe it's this one. Recycle energy. Don't know why that one or what that's for. Something about Mew. Uh, here's another one of those energies that looks different than the other ones. There's another energy that has a funny look to it. There's a different one. Like I said, this is the mostly the energy lot. But somebody said that these might be a little bit better. Or they're considered as a regular card, not an energy. And what I thought was weird is that energy is spelled weird. 
on some of them. Okay. So you get those. $10 start, guys. $10 start. Figure the coin game should at least be worth that. And I'm going to keep adding stuff to the slot, so just trying to put all the different looking things at the top. So there's those. Here's a tin that has maybe that's a DX or an EX character on it. I'm trying to see. Oh, I'm having it from the wrong side. Okay. So this has just like empty packs in it. But I didn't know if I should just get rid of those or if they're anything special. But there's just, you know, some packs. Labyrinth of Nightmare for Yu-Gi-Oh! Magic Ruler. So those are Yu-Gi-Oh! packs. Here's an Emerald Pokemon pack. Another Emerald Pokemon pack. Fire Red and Leaf Green Pokemon packs. Fire Red, Leaf Green. Here's Deoxys packs. I don't know what that is. Some kind of card. Those are just empty packs. Uh, this is a Jungle Booster pack. This is Team Rocket Returns pack. A couple of those. This is a, I think this is an original base set pack. There's a Neo, uh, one in Japanese, and two Dragon packs. Those are in this lot. Just the empty, empty wrappers. And then... Eagle, we're already at 24. Here is a 2004 Pokemon Nintendo. It's like a sticker. Decal. It probably came in this box just because the image is the same. And then on the back are these. So it opens like that. So that's in there. It's another one of the lenticular cards. Here is a Japanese. I think these were like in vending machines. So this is Brock's Onyx. Yeah, well, so like pocket monsters, so like Japanese. But they're shiny. That one's got a corner. They're like stickers, though. You can see that they're stickers. Here's a Togepi. I think that's who that is. Togepi. Or Togi. Has the pocket monster symbol. I said I'm pretty sure these are out of a Japanese like vending machine. They're probably like a quarter back when they came out. It's Pikachu. They're very shiny. There's an Eevee. This one's got squares. Dodrio. 1996. You get the prime ape and the um, moth thing, whatever his name was. This one's weird because it looks like it's set in the sun and it got faded. That's Lapras and a... Uh, I can't remember what the little thing's called. And then this one's a Voltorb, I think. That's So you get that, and that's Japanese Pokemon, Pokemonsters. And I think that's what we have in the miscellaneous Pokemon, because then I think it's Digimon in here. We'll, we'll do those in the next lot. And then I have some Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Perkins Restaurant and the sticker vending machine.
Oh, cool. Electrode. Okay. Dragon air. Yep. That was the other one I was trying to figure out. So we have Don in at 30 on this lot. Let's see here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight of those. Like I said, this is actually what I thought was neat. Was this like these metal coins? So this is a lot of miscellaneous Pokemon stuff from this, this collection that if you guys watch the video, there are some really good cards, some good base set stuff. <laughs> Spencer at 40. So yeah, Spencer in at 40. Don is out. Ghost Pirate is out. And don't worry, Spencer, we're going to do some of your Digimon. I know you've been asking for those. I actually don't see those very often. I mean, I'm sure they're not as valuable, nearly as valuable as Pokemon, but I would probably say they're rare. They're harder to find. <laughs> so we're at $40 with Spencer looking for any advance. Yeah, I just don't ever see the cards anywhere. I watched Digimon. Come on now. I didn't play the game. But... <laughs> I did watch the cartoon. Is it just me or is there no good cartoons on a Saturday morning anymore? You used to be a kid and be like, Saturday morning's cartoon day. Yeah, there's no cartoons on a Saturday. No wonder all these kids are going crazy. So hired. Don't let me stab you with my pen. <laughs> Double colorless energy. Oh, okay. Sold dispenser. Sold dispenser. Yeah, I don't know what a double colorless energy would be, but maybe it's one of these. Is it this thing? energies okay so that's spencer's forty dollars okay let's bring another tray up here okay let's see ten dollars start on this tray Trying to see which ones go to this. Okay, so this is Digimon. So ten dollars start, nineteen ninety nine. I'm going to do an album in just a few minutes, and then we're going to do a little bit more glass to try to get through that. And then tomorrow, we're definitely going to be doing 
a lot of that stuff and 1940s and 50s movie posters. This one's got a, a shiny exclusive preview. It's also. You need to make sure you're registered to bid with us too. Yep. Yep. Make sure you guys send us a registration. If you want to be able to bid, you must have a wrench. So these all say preview and they got like a little shiny foil thing. So these are all Digimon. I'm guessing in Digimon it's probably pretty much the same as it would be with anything else. Look for the foils and special cards. So that was those, and then you get into some of the foil stuff. Hologram of that guy. Gabumon. Number 12 of 34. This one's got the foil thing, and it's shiny. Yeah, Spencer, just send me an email of what address you want me to send it to. Just that way, whenever I send them, I can change it, edit it in the in the PayPal. Because I invoice everybody, so make sure that you guys do not try to pay me directly. Because whenever I can invoice you, it allows me to ship your item straight through there. Now, this is a different type of hologram. So these have like like a design hologram to them. And then this is just like a, a matte finish hologram Enter in a 35, goes higher than a 37. There's another one. This is an Ultra Digivolve. Shiny. Mega Level. Honey Force. These are metal, these three. They're like little metal cards. There is one Dragon Ball Z card in here, Mr. Popo. Not like the Popo, but Mr. Popo. Ryan, the numbers, please. These are more of those ones with the little foil stamp. So there's a bunch of cards there. And then there's another hologram one. Bijamon. Another Ultra Digivolve foil. Another hologram. Some of these have a couple cards in them. You'll notice whenever I get down to them. These are all in plastics. I don't know why, but like this one, you can see there's a bunch of cards in there. I didn't even pull it out to see which cards were in there. So these all have sleeves. Not sure if that means anything. Frigimon. Garurumon. And this one's got, you, know, you can see it's got a bunch of cards in it. So that's what you get. A whole big lot. There's probably 20 or 30 holograms. So we're in at 50, looking for 55. Huh. 
Gus Pratt said his wife capped him out at 45. Phew, you ain't got nothing with that. <laughs> yeah, Pam, that's all your alcohol allowance is for this week. You better get an extension on that money. <laughs> So we have fifty dollars with Spencer looking for fifty five or better guys. Spent more than that on beer. We spent almost two hundred on alcohol. And just the stuff I bought for you. No. Go and fly. She's asleep. <laughs> <laughs> so fifty dollars with Spencer. Gonna be a good buy. All these Digimon cards. Oh, let me grab another tray. Yeah, hopefully we got some some of the heavier hitters in here for the cards. Okay, we sold sold the Spencer for fifty dollars. Congratulations, Spencer. I know you were waiting for those for a while. Okay. I'm gonna do two more lots of cards today. And that way we can kind of get through all of this stuff. So this is a hologram. This is Yu-Gi-Oh! This one is a hologram. I think that's a good card. Now, in the Yu-Gi-Oh, I did notice that some of them look funny to me, and the names are different. So I would say some of them are not real, and I will show you those ones that I think are not real. Like this one's obviously a regular Yu-Gi-Oh card. This is a regular Yu-Gi-Oh card. Now, this one, this one's a blue-eyed shining dragon. But you can see there's a crease going across it. If not, this is a really good card. Moki Moki. It's a man eater bug. Dark Balter the Terrible. This is a hologram. Limiter removal. Lord of D. So that one just seems a little weird to me. Just because I don't remember him from the show. And these, I don't know because they're in Japanese. Fiend and the Great Minx. Buster Blader, this is a good card. Hologram. Imperial Monster Succulent. Sin Sin Sinrucart. See, I think this is a fake. Just because the way the back looks and everything. And there's no... If you notice, like this one has the little foil stamp down the bottom corner, and this one doesn't. So this one I don't think is right, and neither does that one. This is a Sphinx Thalia, Dark Spirit, or Spirit of the Silent. These all look fine. Mystical Elf, that's a good card in the hologram. Delta the Magnet uh, Warrior, another good card. Toon Summon Skull. And if you guys do any kind of research, that's a good card. Millennium Shield. Catapult Turtle, the Hologram. Cure Freed, the Iron Knight. So like this one I don't think is right. They don't have any foil like down in the corner. So those I'm putting up there saying that I think that those are fake. Those ones up there are in Japanese, but they just don't look right to me. Like they just look cheaply made. And these all have the the foil down in the corner, so and like whenever you get to like the Exodia card and stuff in in these weird ones without the little things, he's not named Exodia, he's named something else. That's why I think that those are fake. Like these are all real, these ones here that I'm putting down on the bottom. Unless the Japanese version just had different names. Uh, 
Stones. Oh, and a 35. There is one card in here that should get graded. Um, not sure if it was the Blue Eyes Shining Dragon or if I have the regular Blue Eyes, but I saw them bringing really big money. The Mammoth Crayard. This one's got a crease in it. I'm trying to show these to you the best I can because, you know, obviously I know there are cards that bring over $1,000. It just depends on the set and the card itself. Like this is supposed to be a good card. Wing Dragon, Guardian of the Fortress. Line at 40. Look, you too could be a beaver warrior. That one doesn't have the little foil. That one does. But if you look them up, like some Yu Gi Oh cards are. Right up there with the Pokemon in the thousands range. See, like this one is what I would say would be fake just because see the way the hologram is? And that's the Dark Magician, but they call it Super Magic Warrior. So that just doesn't seem right to me. It doesn't have a foil stamp or anything like that. Same with this one. Dark-eyed white dragon instead of blue-eyed white dragon. It just seems like the way that the foil itself is it just doesn't seem right to me. Because, like, this is supposed to be Exodia's foot, because there was five cards in the Exodia set. There's that and that. Guys, this is a, a huge lot. Um, I will show you the one card that you should spend a little bit of time do your research while we're bidding. It's this one. This is a Blue Eyes White Dragon Hollow Foil. This is the SKE 001. Yeah, these ones, th those all just look funny to me. So I'm putting them up there saying that I don't think that these are right. The ones at the bottom, these are all real. This one is a real Blue Eyes White Dragon. Like this is one I should have got graded. Um, Yeah, these. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't think that those look right. But this is a really rare card. But blue eyes, white dragon, hollow foil. Depending on the grade you get on those, even ungraded, that's, you know, a very valuable card. So, like, this was raw, and, you know, they call it Sky Dragon. So these are all more of those ones that I would say are not right, just because they have that funky coloring and foil look to them, and the figures are numbered or named differently. Tony, we can't tell you how long shipping is taking, because it can be anywhere from one to four weeks, unfortunately. That's what the post office is running right now. Yeah. I'm still waiting on something I bought in October. All, everybody's items that were paid for were shipped last week. We are all caught up. Yep, everything that's paid for is shipped. So those are the ones up there that I don't think are right. And I can just kind of look at the edge of the card, too. They just look different. So these are all ones that I think are that See, it's supposed to say Exodia. So we'll say that those up there are all the fake ones, and then the rest of it, I think, is real. But like I said, this one card is really good. Spencer, good luck. I've had stuff get there in three days. It just no, depends. I'm just waiting on something to go up in Japan. Oh, uh, yeah. 
So that's a tune, Blue Eyes Tomb Dragon. That's a good card as well. So these might just be Japanese, but those up there just don't seem right, the hologram ones. Harpies are real, 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 real. Yeah, you guys have probably seen enough to know what you're looking at. But like I said, I would do my diligence and look up this one card, spend the time, because it is a very good card. SKE001. And there's hundreds of cards here. Like I said, I showed you a bunch that I know are good, very sellable cards. And here's more of those funky looking starburst promos. Well in one last call, Brian Maroney in at sixty five. Guys are missing out. And then there's all of these to go through yet. No, these are Yu-Gi-Oh. This a last lot. Don't just ask me. There's one more lot of cards in this group. Yeah, what you looked up on this one is because each one has a different series for these is the SKE001 I wish it was the other one the other one's a five figure plus card sold to Brian Maroney for 65 wow Brian to send the cops out to your house that was a steal Brian knows what that's worth. I know what that's worth. Nobody else knew what it was worth. Hi, Kathy Bauer. I saw you in there. Okay, so this is the last lot of cards that we're going to do today. And then we're going to do some of the Victorian photo albums and some of the glass that we can get it off the table. And then the rest of this week, we can focus on the 1930s and 40s and 50s movie posters and stuff. Okay, so these are from Tops. They're a Pokemon set, but they were more of like a trading card set instead of the actual game. And if you check, they're actually pretty valuable. Get the right ones. Obviously, any of the ones that are like main character cards are always better. And some of them are from the movie. So $10 start on this slot as well. It's a Venusaur. It's a Charmander. So some of these are from the movie. Yeah, you can get them graded. He's probably asking if Brian does. Certain ones, I'm sure Brian does. 
I originally was going to send some out to get them graded, but it looks like it's about a six month wait time. So, and I have a partner in on this collection, like especially the Pokemon stuff that's over there. And then this is a foil. This one is a foil, speckled foil. This one's another hologram. Hologram. This is a good hologram. Rapidash hologram. Hologram. These are all holograms here. Mr. Mime, Golduck, very cool, Tops Chrome, Nido King, it's a good card, Tops Chrome, Tata, Golbat, Venomite, Blastoise, it's another good card, Need Arena, another good card. So these are all foils and holograms up there. And tomorrow, guys, we definitely will be doing a lot of vintage movie poster type stuff. Photos. Uh, some of the Pokemon collection, like the regular Pokemon base cards. We'll do the other Redline Hot Wheels tomorrow. The other carded Redline Hot Wheel. The best one of the three. We'll have some sports cards. Oh, Pokemon. Yep, these are Pokemon. So we're at 30 with Russell, 35 with Cody. Yes, Spencer. We will probably put some of the EXs in tomorrow. Most all the Pokemon are going to be sold this week. I'll probably put uh, at least one of the Machamps in tomorrow, the ones that I featured in the video. So we're at 40 with Russell. Don is out. So we're looking for 45. We have 103 in here. Thank you guys for coming. We do appreciate you being here. Make sure that if you're not subscribed to the channel that you do so, give us that thumbs up, share us out to your friends. We're changing our business model around to pretty much everything is going to come here to YouTube auctions. We have so much merchandise that there's no way for us to list it all. We have over 160,000 listings online and I'm buying truckloads weekly. So This is the fastest way to sell it, and it's fun for me. So we're at 45 with Cody, looking for 50. Actually, we're looking for 47 or better. $2 increments up to 50. Hi, Talbert. Thanks, Dana. That's a sweetheart. We have 50 with Russell. <laughs> Tommy said I have a problem. We know. Tommy. That's what they made that blue pill for. Tommy, come up so I can fill your car. Okay, Crystal. Be awesome. 
Yeah, I have two huge wardrobe boxes from that guy's store still of the vintage clothing. And then I have 400 plus boxes of the stuff that I haven't went through yet from the, uh, the New York estate company that cleans out the States. Some of it is, there's a lot of seventies and eighties stuff in there and designer and couture. So we are at $50 looking for any advance, looking for 55 or better. <laughs> okay, it looks like this one's going to be sold. Sold to Russell Parker for 50. Congratulations, Russell. Okay. I'm going to grab something from right behind you, Pam. So if you guys know movie stuff, press kits, stuff like that, I'm going to throw some over here. I have a big box full over here. I'm just grabbing them out from under, out from the box. I'm going to try to grab like half the box. We'll do half the box. I'll one lot. This is probably about half right there. Okay. I don't know what movies they are or anything like that, but. You don't know about yeah, I made them an offer. They got an extension on their closing on the house, so they haven't said anything. So Lawrence Fishburne, Tim Roth, Vanessa Williams, and Hoodlum. Hoodlum. So these are press kits. So they come with the book that has, like, in the synopsis, 1990s. And you can see, like, their editorial notes. No more cards today. Side of there. Yep, no more cards today. That's the end of the cards. And then the sets come with press photos. These are the press kit photos. So if you worked in the industry, you could get these press kits for newspapers and stuff like that. Um, I don't know. I don't even know what's in the box. I just literally grabbed a stack from over on the far side. So these are press kits. The photos and the books. So there is one, two, three of Hoodlum. Uh, U-turn. So this was with Sean Penn in it. Has the photos. These are 1997. Jennifer Lopez. Billy Bob Thornton. Claire Dane. I don't know if I've ever seen this movie. That's Claire Dane, Jennifer Lopez, and Sean Penn. So these are all original press photos, glossy press photos. Uh, I think we probably twenty dollars start, forty dollars start. Where are we at? We have forty with Tom Cruise. Couldn't see what it was. Pam's moving boxes off the table. So you get U turn. So there's three of Hoodlum. Two of U-Turn. Here's Washington Square. Again, another movie I don't know, but the photos and the book. Two, three of those. That's six, seven, eight, nine. It's a file copy. This is number 10, Mulholland Falls. Ten. He 
This is all like the synopsis inside. So you get three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and that stack so far. A piece of the action. This is number eleven. This is from nineteen seventy-seven. Obviously, Bill Cosby and Sidney Portier. And a piece of the action. James Earl Jones. Bill Cosby again, James Earl Jones. So this is very cool. Here's the casting credits paper. The production note sheet. At biography for Portier's biography for Bill Cosby. Different parts of the movie. So that's pretty awesome. So that makes 11 sets right there. Sunset Park, you've got to represent. Sunset Park. Terrence to Sean Howard. So that's 12, 13, 14 paperback romance. 15 money talks with Chris Tucker and Charlie Sheen. Has all the photos. Smile like yours. There are five of that one. Uh, Live Entertainment, Inc. So this is The Substitute. Oh, this is a great movie. Uh, this, the 1996 The Substitute, Tom Berenger. Ernie Hudson. Mark Anthony. Robert Mandel. That's very cool. So, I think you're going to be looking at like probably 30 sets or more. So that's there. Here's Soul Food. There are four of those. Photos and the synopsis sheets for promotional use only, not for resale. Some of those. Last dance, file copy, do not remove. And Touchstone Pictures, this one's Sharon Stone. The photo over there. Oh, here's a set of press stills. Almost like lobby cards for the movie Outbreak, 1995. Okay. This one is live substitute. This is the substitute again. Here's two more last dance. So you're getting two, three, four, five, six, seven, the substitute, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15, 
16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. That one's awesome. Love that movie. 29, 30, and then the press kits or the uh, the press deals. So there's 30 sets. 30 press kits with the photos and the synopsis sheets. On Benjamin, thank you. So 30 sets. These are awesome. There's usually like four to eight photos. Sometimes there's more. Like I know that ben, uh, the Bill Cosby movie, there was probably 12 press photos in there. So we have Ken Ingalls in at 100. There's 30 sets plus the extra press stills for Outbreak. It's a pretty good price. Put you in well under $5 a piece. Put you in about $3.50 a piece shipped to your door. Um, Scott, I think you're lagging a lot. Scott Eifler? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> We're at 100. Yeah, he's probably lagging behind. <laughs> We would need 110, Scott. Yep, looking for 110 for the lot. <laughs> yeah, we'll give Scott just a chance to get caught up if you guys want to hit the refresh, just in case you haven't. We're at 110 with Russell Parker. There's 30 sets, guys. And all of them have the photos... and the synopsis sheets. So we have 110 with Russell. We have to do 120, Scott. They're $10 increments above 100. So we have Ken in at 120. So we're looking for 130 now. Looking for 130. There are 30 complete sets and a set of press stills. So we're looking for $130 as the next bid on the 30 complete sets. Scott is out. Thank you for your bid, Scott. Yeah, while you have a chance, just uh, hit the refresh up on your window. We have 130 with Russell Parker. No, no, like. Oh, no. I meant in this auction. Just oh, yeah, yeah, next yeah. lot. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Sure. Okay. And if I can get through the other glass that's on here, how much more is over on the table? Not much there, right? No. No, not what else is on the table. I just wanted to try to get through what's on our table here. Some toys or jewelry? Okay. Okay, Ken is out. We are at 130 with Russell. Going once, going twice. Last call for alcohol. Grab a tray or something to put those on. Congratulations, Russell. Okay, that's all yours. I'll grab the rest of that box. And we'll do those as the next lot. Um, if I can. Okay. 
<laughs> oh, goodness. Oh, crap. Okay, so here's what's left in the box. Um, obviously, this is more than 30 cents. But it's whatever's in this box. I'm just trying to clear space. So this is U-Turn. Sibling Rivalry with Christy and Allie. This one actually has the slides. A lot of them, too. Photo, Bruce McBaum, Castle Rock, and Sibling Rivalry. So there are 20, 30 slides. The photo set and the synopsis book. Uh, let's start this one at $50, guys. It's going to be really heavy to ship. <laughs> the Toy with Richard Pryor. So 1982. These are good. And then here is that the newspaper side for the toy. So it's like a small press kit in the original envelope or sleeve. So that has Jackie Gleason in it, the toy. Here's another of the toy. Like I said, I don't know what's in this box. I really haven't looked. It's so a third one of the toy. That's pretty awesome. Uh, Richard Pryor and Jackie Gleason in the toy. Here's the newspaper again. So that's pretty cool. The, just the toy ones are good. Uh, here is, I don't know. This is the toy also in the production folder as the synopsis paper the press stills are inside wow another of the toy not toying around here another of Jackie Gleason and the toy there's the photos 1982 you can see let's get the stamp November 23rd 1982 the newspaper is there the bios, and the other information. A Thousand Acres with Michelle Pfeiffer and Jessica Lang. Press photos are in there. Yep. In and Out with Kevin Klein. There, and there's the photos. Looks like there might be two packs of the photos here. There may be some extra photos in that one. A piece of the action. So this is the Bill Cosby movie. There's one, two, three, Sidney Portier and Bill Cosby. Four, five, six... Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. So there's sixteen press photos in the Bill Cosby one from 1977 with Sidney Portier and Bill Cosby. We have Toy Soldiers. Those are the photos right here. Misfits poster and then the book. Another one of Toy Soldiers. The First Night file copy. Oh, look at that. Sean Connery. Richard Gere, Sean Connery were both in that movie. Flashpoint. So publicity stills there with all the info on each one. Chris Christopherson was in this movie. Trent Williams. 
So Flashpoint, Fresh Horses. Can't say I know this movie. But Molly Ringwald and Andrew McCarthy were in this. I do not see any photos in this one. Unless, no, no photos in that one. The Forsaken. Kurt Smith. This one has slides and press photos. When a Stranger Calls photos and all the information behind it fly away home with jeff daniels that one has the photos and the press kit crazy in alabama there as we're not even halfway through it yet the best man here's uh slides right there Never Been Kissed with Drew Barrymore. This one feels like there's a CD with this. There's photos, but oh, there's a couple of slides. So there's photos and a few slides. The Thomas Crown Affair with Pierce Bronson. That was a great movie. Another Thomas Crown Affair has the photos. Thomas Crown Affair, Stir of Echoes. This one has slides and photos. There's the photos. Let's see who was in this. Kevin Bacon was in this one. Catherine Herb. Stir of Echoes again. Another Stir of Echoes. The Jackal. So it's got Richard Gere and Bruce Willis. Sydney Portier. Red Corner, with Richard Gere. Mr. Magoo, with Les Leslie Nielsen and his puppy. Kundun, a Martin Scorsese movie. This one is Kundun also. Kundun, Kundun. For richer or for, or for poorer, Tim Allen, Fallen. This one's got, um, oh, who is he played in Roseanne? Can't think of his name. Denzel Washington. It's fallen again. Another Fallen. 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 Yeah, this is a huge lot. Twin Town. I didn't realize how many were in this box. Has the photos. Masterminds. The criminal mastermind of the century. Just met his match. Events characters pictured. And there's the photos. With Chevy Chase. Mulholland Falls with Nick Nolte, Melanie Griffin. Chris Penn is in this one. John Malkovich is in it. Mulholland Falls. Mulholland Falls. And the last one is Twister. Yep, Kevin Bacon's in here. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three. 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. That's an awesome movie. 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 
36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, and then the toy is awesome. 42, this is a huge lot of the toy. 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50. There's 50 sets in this box. Fifty sets. So we are looking for two twenty, I believe. Two twenty with Scott. Okay, you got Scott in at two twenty for fifty sets, guys. Under five dollars a set. I would think the toy photos and the Bill Cosby photos will do very well individually. That's normally how we sell press photos. These just happen to be sitting over here, so figured we'll bring them up and sell them. Hey, Lady Luck Chunk. <laughs> no, these are original press kits. So they're sent out like to the um, to, like publicists and to newspapers. They have synopsis inside. They have all the press photos. And this is for 50 sets shipped. And they, I think the earliest one's 1977. Lots of great movies. A lot of amazing stars. 240 for Russell Parker. So 240 for Russell Parker. Yeah, lady, you should have been here earlier. The other lot had, I think, three of the U-turn in it. So we're at two fifty with Connie M. We're at an awesome price. It's five dollars per set. Most sets have between eight and twelve photos in them. So Scott is out. So we have Connie M at two fifty. This is shipped anywhere in the United States. It's included. We're at 260 with Russell Parker. Yeah, there's some good sets in there. I didn't even realize we had these back here until I started to look over there for the old photos. Two seventy on the fifty sets. Russell Parker, two eighty. Yeah, these sets are really good. This is one of the things that we sell on a normal basis is just the photos from these because normally I don't find them in full sets. Yep. It's between Russell and Connie M. So we're at $280 with Russell. Still under $6 a set. And these will ship UPS out to you. So you don't have to worry about media mail or, Anything like that. So we're at 290 with Connie. We're at 300 with Russell. Triple Benjamins, thank you. Never know what we're going to put in the auction, guys. Just never know. So Connie is out. Thank you for your bids, Connie. We have Russell in at 300. 
Kathy Bauer, I know you had asked about some of the vintage photography and stuff, so I saw that you were in the room a second ago. So I'm going to put up a lot of that. No one wants. So we have 300 with Russell Parker. Right at $6 a set, which is an awesome buy. And after the auction, you guys are welcome to discuss buying or selling to each other. During the auction, we ask that you not do that. It's fine for somebody to know that they have interested people, but there's a fine line where people will be like, hey, I won't bid against you if you sell me this specific one. We won't allow that in the auctions. It's just unfair to the other bidders. Sold the Russell Parker for 300 Thank you, Russell. Thank you, Russell. That one is yours, which is perfect because the other ones can go with him. I can send them all to him then. Okay, guys, you know that I bought that giant palette of Victorian photos stuff like that. So I'm going to try this just like this. Um, I haven't looked at this one, so you're going to get the entire album. I'm going to try it this way. Um, there's a lot of people out there who buy for genealogy and whatnot. This one is actually listed as Molly Horn. Uh, the photographer was Berkheimer. This was from Osterberg, Pennsylvania. I'll show you guys here. This is a CDV or cabinet photo. These are, you know, 1870s to 1890s, early 1900 era. You can see the beautiful clothing, the Victorian gowns, the furniture. Uh, it's going to be a $20 start on this entire book. I just want to see how it does as a book with me not breaking them apart and selling individuals. So there are two. I will count out the images. Tell you if there's anything specific about them that I can see. This is number three. This one is from Belfont, Pennsylvania, from Schaefer. Yeah, that's fine. Whatever, 2025. Okay, so that's three photos. Here's a Cotman from Altoona, Pennsylvania. Look at the back of that. It's beautiful. So I think that's what, number four? If somebody keeps track of how many. Somebody actually wrote, this is uh, from May of 1858, Silas J. Hall is the person's name. Floyd's the photographer from Lock Haven, PA. Here's another one here. That one is from Chambersburg, oh, Phillipsburg, Pennsylvania. Photographed by Mr. J. Hines. Love his mustache. And that one is from, actually, this one's probably pretty rare because um, this is before the Jonestown flood. So a lot of these places got wiped away. See him green, fine photography. Okay, and then I'll go through and I'll just do a count for you guys, and then I'll show you specifics while you're bidding make it easier because my memory doesn't last long. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This one's identified on the back. 10, 11, 12. Look at the top hat. That's pretty awesome. And that one's also from Jonestown. 13, 14, 15, the little CDV Carta de Vist. 16, 17, 18, 18. Let me get rid of that. There's no picture. 19, photo on board. 20, it's like a traveling salesman. 21. So there's 21 pieces in this lot in the original Victorian album.
So you're getting 21 Victorian era, 1800s, 1850s to early 1900 photos. Yep, you can give Zian creative his. Usually stop at four, I'm not sure. Fifty-five with Kathy Bauer. Jill, if you're in the room, just make a comment. Say you sent me a register, a registration, and I can give you a wrench so you can bid. Breaker in at seventy-five. Same with Ed Kippen. Ed, I've seen you in some of the other rooms, so if you're in the room, just make a comment, and then I can get you a. A wrench. Kathy Bauer in at 110. Ridge Hill Jill, I think so. And yes, Jill, the answer is yes. If you let me know ahead of time before, I'll send you an invoice. So just wait to pay until I send you an invoice, please. If you win items, and then when I send you the invoice, just make sure you send me an email saying you would like it shipped to a different address, as long as it's in the United States. We will sell foreign as well, but you will pay the shipping. Wow. Yep. We got you, Monica. That's Ed. It's moronic pest. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I had like shit going on my screen all at the same time here. <laughs> I hear you, Matt. The slot was about 10,000 pieces, but it's mostly like 18. 1820s to right at 1900. I love the backs of some of them, like the way the back looks. And the fact that a lot of them are identified. That's the back of that one from Altoona, Pennsylvania. And when it comes to photos, look at this. This one's awesome. Check this out. Check out that mustache. The sideburns in that mustache are great. Huh. I haven't even looked. I didn't see this album. I just brought it up. It's nice because on the back, it's identified who it is. A lot of them have a year, so you can kind of do genealogy on these people. There will be famous people in here. Um, and collectors kind of buy based on different things. Like this one's, she's holding a scrapbook or a book. So book buyers will actually buy that because she's holding a rare book. Certain people collect photos with mustaches. Some people collect the vintage clothing aspect. Certain photographers. I mean, some photos sell for... I think the most I've ever seen a photo sold for was like $4 million. And that one wasn't super, super old. That was it's a beautiful book. And anybody else who sent me a registration, make sure that you guys comment in the chat so that I can give you a wrench. Hey, Lobster. Sold to Kathy. Congratulations, Kathy Bauer. $110. That was a nice buy. What 
What lot number was that? Are you taking off? Okay. I just want to see if I can get the 25 lots. Okay. I have four lots of glass stuff here on the table I'd like to get through, and then we'll call it a day. Tomorrow we will do more of the photos, and then I can get into, because most of the glass will be gone then, I can get into the really early movie stuff. So here's a little jewelry box. We'll do a $15 start on this lot. This is some kind of a, I don't know, I guess old powder or maybe smelly stuff. Here's a llamas or deers or something. Little porcelain planter type thing. Sydney, Australia, some kind of handcrafted cultured marble made in Australia. Ocean City, Maryland. These are little coasters that have Ocean City sand and seashells inside of them. A brass candlestick. A pair of, or a turtle and two frogs with two conch shells. And another seashell and like a weird piece of coral mushroom. 15 bucks. Florida. Here is a whatever kind of animal that is made out of little seashells. It's interesting. Oh, it's a bank. From one to four. Yep. There's a little hobnail milk glass bud vase. This is an opalescent hobnail. This is probably Fenton or one of those with the blue interior. This is a nice blue frosted vase. And then, I don't know what this is. Oh, cute. Some kind of like metal, I guess, I'd probably say it was a candle holder. You think that's what it was? Like a base for a candle maybe? Yeah, like a little candle holder or candy dish or something in that box. But this is very cool, the piece there. I think that's probably Fenton. And this seashell creature is actually a bank. It's kind of funky. The four coasters with the sand and seashells in them. The Sydney, Australia carved marble light, marl stone piece. The turtle and two frogs under on the seashell. This is like an oyster base and then two like conch shells. It's really cool. This is uh, supposed to put like powder or something in it to absorb moisture and to um, make your closet smell better. And this is a really early, probably Italian piece of pottery. I don't know if they're llamas or if they're supposed to be just a blue and a mauve pink purple deer planter. And a little wooden jewelry box. Keep the jewelry box over here until so you guys can see everything. Oh, hi, Connie. So we're at 31 with Connie's books and things. Looking for any advance. We're going to do these lots rather quick. So we're going to go go them once. Go in twice. Let's do it. And then we got one second. <laughs> well, they're like on a 30 second delay from me. Yeah. 
I think we're on Cindy. Yep. Waiting to hear from Cindy. But if Cindy says she's out, then Connie, you win it instantly. She's out. Okay. Sold, sold, sold. Sold to Connie. Congratulations, Connie. That's yours. I'm just excited to be getting through the glassware stuff because I'm not a big glassware person. It comes in the houses when we buy them out. and Normally, I just send it all to auction. So this is a carved wooden Holland wall hanging thing. Tulips from Amsterdam. Uh, this is pretty heavy. $20 start. So little Holland wooden clogs. A 1982 World's Fair, Knoxville, Tennessee plate. $20 start on this lot, guys. It is a big lot. Chesapeake Bay. Here is a the Homestead in Winter. It's a Courier and Ives plate. Little decorative Courier and Ives plate. Here's another decorative Courier and Ives plate. The old Homestead in Winter. There are four different ones of these. A Home in the Wilderness, Courier and Ives. You can see right there, Courier and Ives. The Farmer's Home Winter. Then you have this one, something Smith, Eastern Made in Japan. Phoenix, Arizona. Hungary, Chain Bridge, Royal Palace. That one doesn't say anything in the back. This is almost like a Sirocco wood. Like a car. It seems like it's carved. And there's the guy's name that did it right there. And that's where it is. Mary Zell. So it seems like it's carved, though. Some kind of stuff. Here is a metal schnatzen guten hard. So snots cots hard. I, I don't, I'm not even going to go there because I'll wind up saying something getting yelled at. This is a bronze plate. Let's see. Oh, the courier knives. Um, I don't know. Let me see. I think. Exactly. Courier knives. Just says made in Korea on the back, so they're probably 70s, would be my guess. Yeah, it just says a home in the wilderness made in Korea. So my guess is they're 1970s. Here is Jean Baffelli, Severia. This is a neat plate, like an inset raised metal center. Bermuda, Jamaica, ooh, I want to take a. Made in Japan, Japan. A New Mexico plate, that one's plastic. And then this one is also plastic, kangaroo and koala in Australia. Kangaroo and koala in Australia. Crikey. So there's a bunch in here. There's what? One, two, three, four, five, six, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, and then the little clogged shoes. So there's a total of sixteen pieces in this lot. So we have Connie's books and things in at 22. Hi, Donatella. 
Hi, sweetie. Are you doing an auction tonight, Donatella? If you are, make sure you comment. Let everybody know what time your auction's going on. If you guys don't know Donatella Badalino, she has auctions on her channel on a regular basis and always brings cool stuff from storage units and from her guy. Hi, Shriker. So we have 26 with Connie's books and things on this lot. Courier knives, plates, the musical wooden Holland wind up windmill plate. So we are at $26 with Connie's books and things. Looking for any advance. Chris is out. So we're at $26 with Connie's books and things. Sold, sold, sold. Congratulations, Connie. $26 to Connie's Books and Things. I'll grab the next lot and show it to you guys while I write out that tag. This is a beautiful, beautiful set. Anybody who has their 25th anniversary coming up, this is perfect. Has the little lead crystal, like little bud vase or toothpick holders. There's a pair of those. They are leaded crystal. You have the Das Boot, glass boot. You have the other little German Maria Zell glass. You have the silver inlay 25th anniversary glass plate right there. That's beautiful. But what's really cool about that glass plate is you have the creamer, 25th anniversary creamer right there. It is by Lefton. So as you guys know, Lefton is pretty good. So 1984 Lefton, China. The covered sugar. So $20 start, 25th anniversary with the lid. Lefton, China, 1984. So you have the creamer and sugar, and you have the teapot. Look at that. With the lid. The teapot is there. It's in great shape. Also left in from 1984. So that's a beautiful little 25th anniversary set. The two leaded crystal bud bases. Dosh boot. And the glass. Okay. Oh, nice, Donna. Well, not nice that it was a fail, but... So we have $25 with Connie's Books and Things on the 25th anniversary Lefton set. Teapot, sugar, and creamer. It's a really nice little set. Two leaded crystal pieces for 27 with Marilyn Delgado. I think we're going to have some jewelry tomorrow, too. I think there's a box of jewelry. So we have 27 with Marilyn Delgado. Looking for 29 or more. I think the next person we should hire for here should be a masseuse. Or hire anybody else. 
find them. You don't want me to hire a masseuse to like stand here and give massages on our shoulders and our backs while we're working. Have a great, great work environment. Be sleeping through everything. Wine and masseuses. No other job in the world like mine. Last call. Oh, you guys will like this one. It's like little, uh, what are these called? Van vanity sets, maybe? I think that's what they're called. So here's a plastic Avon powder box of Rapture Beauty Dust from Avon. These almost look like Alphonse Mucha, but I don't think they are. Avenue 5, the 5th Avenue of Bliss from the Virginia Slims collection. So I don't know if these had cigarettes in them or not originally. Here's a weird double-sided little handheld mirror. Here's a Coke tray. Uh, I mean, I'm not supposed to say Coke tray on live, huh? <laughs> like... <laughs> I can't say cloak. Okay. This is not a Coke tray. We are not selling you a Coke tray. This has little feeties on it. Like four Lucite handles. Cool little vanity mirror. And check out these like vanity brushes and that. I don't see. Yep, $20 starting bid. This is beautiful. Like it's metal. And this is all embossed. Here's a giant handheld mirror. This is very early. This is probably Victorian. With beveled glass. This is very nice. Very early. Here is the comb that goes with the set. But look. Here are the two jars. Look how beautiful the metal or the glass and the jars are. So Art Deco style. And these are of that time period. Vintage. This is the little flowery leaves on the top. And that one. And then this one has the same motif as the mirror and everything. But beautiful, beautiful. Little dresser set. And then there is a letter opener. So it is a little five piece vanity set right there. Show it to you guys like that. Just looks nice. So that's a beautiful set. And the cook mirror. No, we're not hiring. <laughs> 24 hour a day auctions. You might be hiring then. You might be hiring a different shipper. <laughs> so we have 25 with Marilyn. We have 27 with Matthew. 30 with Marilyn. There are no bumps left on this. So we have $30 with Marilyn. Looking for any advance on 30 I'll actually put the mirror at the back and put the, the really cool dresser set up closer for you guys to see. Can I? I love the Art Deco style of this glass. 
32 with Matthew. Okay. Let's just try to get all the stuff off the table that we put here. So we're at 35 with Marilyn. Matthew is out. Okay, it looks like it's going to go to Maryland. We sold, sold, sold. And you guys, Pam is going to leave us. I am going to do the last tray by myself. And then we are done for the day. Because then we have a nice clear table for tomorrow. So $20 start on the slot. Um, this is a amazing piece of American Brilliant Glass. So ABG. This is like leaded crystal. It is beautiful. I mean, you can see the sparkle and the color in this piece. It's very heavy. This is a very, very good quality crystal piece that's beautiful I have this little vase this is just pressed glass it's an interesting pattern there's another little cup we have the little piece of porcelain a plate or bowl made out of seashells, a giant seashell there. A seashell candle holder made out of seashells. This is all out of that Hungarian house. There is the markings for this. Do you have your, uh, your lanyards and everything? Yeah, good. I'll see. We're going to look at those toys in the morning, right? Okay, just let me know because i got to stop and grab money out of the bank. This is a wolf glass lamp panel. This is a wooden little dish, little plate with intricate carving. This is some kind of a souvenir thing from... Balaton, Balaton, little souvenir plastic pitcher, little porcelain pitcher, little Niagara Falls cup. This is pretty awesome, but I don't know what it's for. It looks like it was, I don't know, stand of some sort or maybe hung on the wall for a hook. I, I don't know what that's for, but this is my favorite piece out of this group. It looks like a tree trunk. It's made out of like pottery or glass interior with a, I want to say it's almost like a wooden covering on it, but it's definitely glass on the inside so you can drink and you can see through this part of it, Sabata. So this is the last lot for the day. And let's see if we have any action. We have $20 with Marilyn. And again, this is the last lot of the day. Um, we will have old photos tomorrow from the photo collection that I just bought. We will have old movie posters. We will do the Pokemon cards tomorrow, some of those in lots. You guys saw the video. There are some really valuable cards in there, so hopefully... Our bidders are in the room for that stuff tomorrow. But this is my favorite piece on this. 
the quality of this is just really nice. Can't really hear it. Drum roll. Nice little pattern. Really beautiful. Very good quality. Okay, so we are at 25 with Marilyn. And this is lot number 26. This is the last lot. I'm just going to call it glass lot. Thank you, Kathy. Hopefully we'll see you tomorrow, Kathy, because I definitely have stuff that I know you'll be interested in. So we have Marilyn Delgado in at $25, looking for any advance. Mateus, no hablo espanol. We do thank everybody for being here. And we do appreciate everybody for their time. Lily, let us know if you're out. And if you guys can share us out to your friends, social media said as we grow, more and more stuff is just going to keep coming here to the auction. I'm being offered new stuff daily. Uh, we may be getting a Marvel contract to deal directly with Marvel to buy some really awesome Marvel toys. So we're definitely going to have lots of cool stuff coming. Lily, let us know if you're out. I believe you're out. It looks like we're going to be sold to Maryland. 25. I think Lily might have dropped. Thank you. Sold. So, guys, again, we appreciate everybody. Thank you all for being here. We do appreciate it. We will be on tomorrow from 1 until 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I'm going to go create the stream yard for it in just a couple minutes, and I will send out invoices tomorrow. If you want to wait to pay, please do so. No problem. I just keep adding to the invoice. It makes it easier for me to keep track of it. Um, when we're not doing, you know, two or three hundred items of shipping or invoicing during the day. So I will see everybody later. Thank you all for being here. It is much appreciated. Me take care of it, guys. And that way I can just block them completely. Again, thank you, everybody, for spending the night, spending the day with us.
and we appreciate everybody. Okay, there you go. I blocked them. So to care of that, I just have to be able to see the comment to do it. So guys, thank you everybody. I will see everyone later. Yeah, guys, uh, if something like that happens, just let Mama G or me or Pam take care of it because just blocking them or hiding them doesn't allow me to block them from the channel. So appreciate everything. Guys, have a great night. Mr. Buys a lot. And Pam, wherever she left to, signing off. Thank you, guys. Stay safe. We'll talk to you tomorrow.